is directed by John Favreau and yes I have worn this mask like <sighs> when I meant to it came out and so let's let's begin the review of you know Iron Man 1 which is the start of the MCU right now so let's review Iron Man shall we so Iron Man is directed by John Favreau and during this movie Robert Downey Jr. as Iron Man Gwen Petro as Pepper Hots and there's any other characters. This is one of the first superhero movies I have ever watched so far. And yes, I love it a lot. I didn't watch it in theaters actually because my first theater MCU I have ever watched is Iron Man 2. So let's review let's begin this movie review, shall we? So the plot in this movie is where he got uh, this guy named Tony Stark who has really problems for his heart. And he really needs to escape on this town, but suddenly he has the heart of the steel that he really wanted wanted to be something else and not once he got lost he really upset that he has the heart of steel but he's planning to be a lot he's a billionaire playboy rich guy who can buy anything he's like a billionaire guy but he really wants to be others and prove themselves like how they wanted to be so that's the start of the Iron Man where he begins to Sort of the Iron Man. This is actually the beginning of the Avengers, where Iron Man needs to start all all of these armors and something like that. And this is gonna exclude spoilers. Of course, all of you guys seen Iron Man one. And yes, I'm gonna let my spoiler review in here. So, so the story in this movie is very good. It is very nice. It's the great start of the MCU, I think. And this is actually before he became the MCU franchise when Disney buy it. It's fine for me. And now, Fox, I'm so excited to see that. Because the Iron Man franchise, I mean, the Iron Man is going to set for the MCU. And it really needs very unusual for any stuff like that. It needs to improve one or each other for the Avengers. Because it needs to set all of the Avengers up for like Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Spider-Man, everything else. Before they confirms, Iron Man in this movie was very unusual stuff, but it is very important to see like Iron Man was it really Iron Man was it really a billionaire playboy? And this is one of the most highest ranking uh, highest ranking op box office no, no no not the box office one of the most highest ranking on the Rotten Tomatoes it got 90 something percent of Rotten Tomatoes I think 95 it's one of the hugest I think it's important but it's really satisfied to see it's satisfied to see that he has all Iron Man this is how he starts to be Iron Man and it really surprised because there's this scenes where because there's this scenes where he starts to become Iron Man. He saves the world. Yes, as unusual. But this villain name, but this villain name, Iron Monger, as I call for his robot armor name, Iron Monger needs really needs to stop the Iron Man. He really wants to watch from the Russians and planning to attack him. So that's all of the plot I know. So the so the story in this movie is very great. It's very amazing. And the CGI in this movie, even though it's made of 2008, it is the release of The Dark Knight. But I don't think that it tops Dark Knight. Dark Knight is one of the best. But this is my second favorite superhero movie on 2008. It is best. And it's very huge, surprising. It's a great start for the MCU. But even though Captain America First Avengers has start first, but for the order. But it is really compared for any of those Avengers in this movie because it really needs to stay what is it stay what is it alive to be to Iron Man because he is like one of the most important one of the most important Avengers of of the phase one two and three lead up to in the Infinity War because this because this movie has some great action scenes that has some great uh, it has some great plot, it has some good dialogues in this movie, that's all I can say. Because, because in this movie, I was watching this movie when I was a little kid. Did you know that was my first superhero movie I have ever watched as a kid? I have ever watched because this is really satisfied me as a kid and I really love to see Iron Man 
And to be honest, I never heard of Iron Man until until I saw this movie. I love Iron Man because I thought Iron Man was one of my favorite superheroes of all time when I was little, because it really does uh, the start for the MCU. I'm surprised they made the MCU right now because I thought they're gonna. I thought um, like. I thought it's not gonna be like you know franchise. I thought it's another universe or something. But I was surprised that it is connection to the universe until I saw Age of Ultron, and it's really good. I mean, like, wow, is it surprising it's connected? And after that, it is really surprising for that. So the end of the movie is Iron Monger and Iron Man. He still fights it on, and and it really is connected for it is. But I don't think. I don't remember how all these scenes in this movie. I think they show an Infinity Stone in this movie. Maybe the Infinity Stone it really shows up that Ironmonger really needs to take care of it for any plans each other. So after that, all of these disasters happen. Uh, Nick Fury, Samuel Jackson just asked him to join the part of the Asian of Shield. So that was the lead up to the Iron Man two. So I think it's a great movie. It's an amazing movie. I think this is one of the shortest movie movie I have ever seen. And yeah, this is my first, and this is my first startup of the MCU movie reviews right now. I think I need to review a lot because next month there's gonna be Black Panther next. I think it's gonna be like after Civil War movie again, but a different character for that. So I think Iron Man is a great movie. I think it is very amazing. But not amazing as the Dark Knight, even though Dark Knight is not a part of the MCU. But still, one of the best MCU I've ever seen. I'm gonna give Iron Man a 9.5 out of 10. So guys, what are your thoughts on Iron Man? Do you like it? Do you love it? Or do you hate it? If you, if you are a big fan of Marvel, you can watch all the MCU movies. Now, next up to The Incredible Hulk. Yes, The Incredible Hulk. I don't think I love this movie, but I might explain on the next movie review. So, guys, thank you guys for watching. I know this is kind of like a short review because I have no words to say about Iron Man. I thought I was almost forget about Iron Man. I love Iron Man. I think, I think it's a good movie. It's a great movie. Not the best as other MCU movies. So, guys, I will see you guys next time.